Hello traders, this is the Zigzag Man and today the lesson is about the middle Bollinger Band area which is this dotted blue line, the zero line of the CCI and the 50 line of stochastics. Now what goes on here is basically the middle Bollinger Band can be a level of resistance like it shows right here and generally you know we buy when the PPS when the candlesticks are below the lower Bollinger Band after a fall okay there's the CCI starting to uptick now if it's a really sharp fall I like to take a position at or below the lower Bollinger Band as soon as the CCI starts turning up and right at that moment stochastics the fast line is crossing up through the slow line okay and then we watch we watch to see if the candlesticks can break through the middle Bollinger Band area now when they do that or in this case if they fail to do that the CCI will always be getting rejected at the zero line or below it and stochastics will be getting rejected below the 50 line this happens every time now I wish this had gone up to the zero line on the CCI and all the way up to the 50 line on stochastics but I believe you, you get the idea now the important thing about entering a trade is you're in and you're hoping that it will go from the lower Bollinger Band to the upper Bollinger Band. If it doesn't, if it turns back at the middle Bollinger Band area, it's time to exit the trade because it will go back down to the lower Bollinger Band area again and possibly give you another good entry point. But my point is when you enter a trade below the lower Bollinger Band and it gets turned back at the middle Bollinger Band area at the zero line or below just below it of the CCI and cannot break through the 50 line of stochastics take your profits there otherwise there's a real good chance it will fall back and take back all of your profits and even b drop below your entry price which is taking a loss and that's one thing we just don't do okay so let's take a look at what happens when the candlesticks closes or breaks above just breaks above the middle Bollinger Band you'll see at that exact moment the CCI is breaking through zero it's also breaking above this level of resistance it had before which signals a buy huge volume you can't really see it but because the candlestick is covering it but that's pretty huge volume there that signal to buy okay at the same time the candlestick breaks above the middle Bollinger Band area so stochastics will be breaking above 50 and you'll be getting the MACD buy signal as the fast line crosses up through the slow line okay now that was a pretty quick move from oh let's say a dollar 65 to two dollars in one day but as you can see you don't take profits right at the upper Bollinger Band because it never closed below the five moving average so the next day it did a doji a moment of indecision got some pretty big volume it was low volume that day of the the white body doji and then we got big volume again to send it way over the upper Bollinger Band so that would that would have been a good day to take profits as the CCI starts to down tick and the fast line of stochastics crosses down through the slow line okay so on that one you made from a dollar sixty five to over two twenty five in in three days you made a pretty good score with uh, two thousand five thousand shares of, of a fairly cheap stock okay and here's the sell signal when he crosses below closes below the five moving average 
Now, you could have stayed in this one, even though he gave the C a definite CCI sell signal right here when it crossed down below the plus 100 line. But basically, when a stock goes straight up and down vertical, your sell signal comes as soon as the CCI starts to turn down. And the fa uh, fast line of stochastics crosses down through the slow line. But you could have actually held this all throughout here. Okay, Let's take a look at what happens when the candlestick closes below the 5MA, which it did this day, and breaks, closes below the middle Bollinger Band. At that exact moment, the CCI is crossing down through the zero line. There was no support there. There was no bounce. And stochastics is breaking down through the 50 line. You're also getting the MACD sell signal with the fast line crossing down through the slow line and the histogram going from positive to negative. OK, so now we wait. OK, could we buy at the lower Bollinger Band? Yes, it gave a sell, uh, buy signal here. And yes, the fast line of stochastics crossed up through the slow line. But look at the MACD. It was steadily down ticking. Now we reach a point for about two weeks where he cannot rise above. There's no part of any of these candles that can get above this resistance line at the middle Bollinger Band. And as you can see, the CCI goes up, can't hit the zero line comes down, can't hit the zero line again, comes down. That's three fake buy signals right there with an, the dotted line is an area of resistance. So what you're waiting for is increasing volume the day he starts to close above or just get above the middle Bollinger Band area. You'll see that the CCI at the exact moment is breaking above the zero line and stochastics is breaking above the resistance at the 50 line and this time it goes straight up okay so basically your your buy signal here there's no real big volume here but it's breaking your buy signal comes when the candlestick finally gets above the resistance at the middle Bollinger Band the CCI breaks above this dotted line of resistance on increasing volume. This volume is much higher than any of these days as it was stalling. Okay, this, this day right here, the, the taller, taller black candle here. Okay, so CCI breaks above resistance and through zero. Stochastics breaks above resistance and through 50. And at the exact moment, the candlesticks are above the middle Bollinger Band. You're getting a perfect double MACD crossover because the fast and slow lines dropped just below zero and popped back above it. The fast line crossed up through the slow line. Okay, Now you're in the trade because he's finally gotten above this middle Bollinger Band. Now, a CCI, a textbook CCI buy signal is when the CCI crosses up through the plus 100 line. Now, you know my strategy well enough to know that I buy, my actual CCI buy signal is when it drops below the minus 100 line and then crosses back up through it. And it, like on this case, sometimes it will get rejected. So you take profits the day it closes below the 5MA. It won't be much because you were hoping it would hit the top Bollinger Band. Okay? But in this case, the textbook CCI buy signal works. Okay? What you're, you're in now because of everything I mentioned before. It's above the middle Bollinger Band. CCI is broken above resistance. Volume came in a little bit. Stochastics is above the 50 line. CCI gave a perfect buy signal. Okay, so you're in the trade. You're looking at volume. It's increasing as time goes on. He never closed below the 5MA any day during this run except for this one. Now, did you get a CCI sell signal? No. 
did you get a, a uh, stochastic cell signal? Uh, kind of. But that was a couple of days earlier. But it never dropped below the 80 line or below this level of support it had before. Did you get a MACD cell signal? No. Volume's increasing. It's staying above the 5 MA. You're in. Now you're looking for the huge blow-off top volume day when the candlesticks start screaming up, getting too tall, way above the upper Bollinger Band. Now the rule about Bollinger Bands is uh, the price cannot survive for long, for more than two or three sessions above the upper Bollinger Band. And there's really only two things it can do. It can run flat or pull back, and it usually takes three to five sessions to get back within the upper Bollinger Band inside of it that's below the blue line here. It just depends on how far outside it is. It was pretty far outside here, but it only took two days to run, to consolidate, to run pretty much sideways with a slight downtrend. Some day, sometimes it'll just run flat for five days. This time it pulled back, so it only took two days. Now, if this candlestick had been twice as tall, it would have taken five sessions for the candlesticks to get back below or inside the upper Bollinger Band. And it's still not a sell signal because he has never closed below the 5MA with confirming sell signals here. Now, actually, if you were in at 225 and he got up to 425 in, eh, it looks like about three weeks, 15 sessions, I'd be taking profits here. Okay, that high top, blow off top, high, high volume blow off top with diminishing volume after it pretty much signals a top. You've had a good run. You were in on this day at right around 225 with a thousand shares okay um, you're up two thousand dollars with five thousand shares you're up ten thousand dollars take your profits don't wait for the don't wait for the uh, for it to close below the 5 ma that was one heck of a run and the steepness you see it it takes off here not too steep and then it has a slight pullback. <coughs> and then it takes off a little bit more steeply, has a serious pullback, and then it just goes ballistic. This is straight up and down vertical. Whenever you see straight up and down vertical, okay, that's when I take profits is when the CCI starts to down tick. See, you didn't need to here because that wasn't too vertical of a move. Okay, and he never closed below the 5 MA. But, you know, the run goes on, things get out of hand in a good way, and he just goes completely straight up and down vertical. That's never a good thing. That's that's demanding a pullback. That it could pull back all the way to 303 to the middle Bollinger band. I don't have the 15 MA here cuz it just would have confused looking at the middle Bollinger Band, because they generally run about in the same area. In this case, the 15 MA would probably be just a little bit higher than the middle Bollinger Band. But you're looking at a dollar pullback. This is the only support level right here. Two days of support, right around $3. Okay, so if you're, you know, if you made all this profit from 325 to 425, you don't want to pull it back to 325. So it's time to get out of this one. But basically, my whole point here is that the middle Bollinger Band can be a level of resistance, like it is here, and it, like it is here. And it can also become a level of support, like it was here. And when it becomes support, when the, when the candles come down and kiss up off of the middle Bollinger Band, the CCI will be kissing up off of zero, and stochastics will be kissing up off of 50. Now, right here, it could have done this, what it did here, here. So basically, you can buy at the middle Bollinger Band, 
when the CCI turns up off the 50, the zero line, and stochastics turns up off of, you know, drops down to 50 and bounces back up. You never, you know, there was never really anything wrong with the MACD at this time. But my whole point is, when the price rises above the middle Bollinger Band, generally speaking, almost in every case, the CCI will be rising up through the 50 line without any resistance. Stochastics will be rising up through the 50 line. I'm sorry, the zero line of the CCI. The 50 line of stochastics, and you'll probably getting the MACD buy signal. When the candles close below the middle Bollinger Band, it generally means the stock will fall to the lower Bollinger Band. And as it's crossing down through the middle Bollinger Band area, the CCI will be dropping down through zero, and stochastics will be dropping down to or below 50, where it will become oversold. Okay, You get the buy signals. It's a fake. It's three fakes because he can't rise above the middle Bollinger Band. As soon as he does, CCI again is breaking above this level of resistance at the red dotted line. Volume starting to pick up. The CCI is crossing up through zero. Stochastics is crossing up through 50 and you get the buy signal on the MACD. Okay, And then like I said you stay in because he never closed below the 5MA. He did that day but there was no sell signal here. You wait for the high volume blowout. That means that people are actually getting out when you see a super high volume day like that. And then another one that follows it. You could have gotten out on either one of these days and done quite well. Okay. And also, when the 5 MA crosses up through the middle Bollinger Band, that's also like a buy signal. Okay. And at the same time, the 15 MA will be right in that area. So the 5 crossing up through the middle Bollinger Band and the 15, which isn't shown, like I said, that's also a buy signal. Okay, so that is about it for this particular lesson. I have two more charts ready to go to show you, actually three more charts to show you the same theory uh, using different stocks. And this is one of the most valuable things you need to know. If you miss my original early warning buy signal at the lower Bollinger Band, you can enter a trade when the candle breaks above the middle Bollinger Band, when the 5 crosses up through the middle Bollinger Band, and when the CCI breaks above resistance here and through zero, and when stochastics breaks above resistance here and through 50 on the MACD buy signal. Okay, so that's about it for this one. Stay tuned for part two, which will be coming up in, in the list of uh, videos. It'll be right after this one. So I want to wish you all happy trading from the ZigZag Man. <laughs>